here we are back with foreverfootballshow.com. Today we have extra time, penalty kicks and everything, <laughs> because of our, our celebrity uh, t commentators here. Uh, during the break we saw a question here uh, exactly about what, what are the teams that are contributing the most number of players to the World Cup. Uh, and uh, it's actually Chelsea and Barcelona, 14 players each. Even in Chelsea, after all the losses of players, so you can imagine the kind of teams. When you, when you see that kind of a Champions League game, you have a sense of the kind of quality that we see here. I have actually a list here. Let's see: uh, Barcelona, 14 players. Uh, same for Chelsea. Liverpool has 12. Bayern has 11. Arsenal has 10. Same with Inter Milan, Real Madrid. So all those top teams in Europe, they are effectively national team. Uh, scratch of the, of the teams, right? Unbelievable. And with that, you know, we, we got all these kind of questions as well. Uh, another question for you, John. Do you see this kind of show technology? Like we have here just a, a bunch of fans sitting in a bar having fun talking about soccer. It just so happened that we turn some cameras on and put it on a, on your stream or using technology. Do you think that's something that the social media and this kind of video broadcasting will impact? media in general, not only in sports? It already has. I mean, the fact that you can do this and set this up and have your own, you can be your own broadcaster has already impacted technology. So, absolutely. And uh, it's interesting where that's going to go. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it's great. The people that have the most passion in a certain subject can sit in a bar and, and, and do their show and share this. And it's been great being here. So. And it's absolutely great. We can hoist the cup to that. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> uh, we also wanted to talk about the overall predictions. And, you know, since we talked about players coming from all, all these teams, let's talk a little bit about who's going to be the star. Who's going to be really the, the, the balance breaker, the one that is the Maradona of the World Cup, the Pelé of this World Cup? It's easy to say Messi, but I'm not going to do that. And uh, you know, it's 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 hard to say, but um, really, I, I'm, it's too many too many good players. Maybe I would pick uh, Snyder from Netherlands for the phase, right? The phase that he has been, right? Yeah. I agree with you, Aaron. Your top picks of players. Can we comment that? Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, the girl yeah. has it to say. What do you want to say about it? Yeah, I agree. I don't think I think Messi might disappoint, and he doesn't have that sort of dynamic personality, like a Maradona, for example, that would propel him to be that sort of personality. But uh, I think it's going to be a Wayne Rooney sort of World Cup. Okay, that's, that's a good call as well. Um, I agree. Rooney's going to be key to to England's success, but uh, for me, I think the biggest player in the World Cup kind of based on the friendlies and, and momentum here is going to be Van Persie. Um, I, he's been pivotal for Netherlands so far and again missing out on the majority of Arsenal's season. I think I think he's going to come into this World Cup ready to, to get plenty of goals for him. I also have a Holland uh, pick. I, I would have said Robin. I don't know how it's going to be after uh, the, the injury, if he's going to come back uh, strong. But I would have said that uh, Robin also has a, a strong chance. But out of the list of out of the list of the usual suspects, I will actually pick Luis Fabiano, the number nine from Brazil. He's been very consistent. He's not. He's coming back from from injury and actually he's been not playing that well in the practices. But Luis Fabiano is one of these players that has been very consistent, scored in almost every go, every, scored goals in almost every game that Brazil played in the qualification. So I think that out of the usual suspects, I think he can surprise and, be, and make his name uh, for the World Cup as well. Yeah. Go for it. Well, I, I already expressed my opinion on Wayne Rooney. I'll throw a couple other names out there. I think Clint Dempsey for the U.S. could. He's a very uh, impactful player, very creative, not in the traditional style of, a, of an American player. And I think the U.S. is going to get through to the second round. So he's going to be a very creative force out there on the pitch. With, uh, and great to watch. So I'm, I'm hoping and I believe that he'll be a, a very big star. And then, of course, Frank Lampard at, at England, one of my all-time favorite players. So I got to throw a shout-out to him, too. I could be able to be very conservative in my own continent. You know, I think Kaká, Kaká actually has something to do this World Cup, the last World Cup. He wasn't showing all his play he is. And today, I'm a junior player. He really want to make a big difference in this World Cup. He's been mentioned in several interviews that have been done. I think Kaká has a big uh, chance to be one of the number one players in this time. 
Um, I want to do exactly what you do. I want to take the one from my own country. I think Alexis Sanchez, you might know him from Udinese, one of those players. Matter of fact, uh, if I recall bad, uh, Manchester is looking forward to buy him for several million dollars. And it's, uh, it's called the next uh, Ronaldo, if I recall bad. I mean, uh, the Nino Maravilla, they call Alexis Sanchez, Chilean guy. Um, watch out for him. He was pretty good. He was a big player. And then the in the young uh, cup uh, in Canada a couple of years ago in the World 20, right? So looking for the Alexis Sanchez, put it there in your name, and it's called Kaká, definitely for me yeah. the best player. Alberto, here's the here's uh, beauty yeah. of, uh, of the Forever Football Show. Yeah. Come, what, what are the shows you can have? People from the countries sharing this kind of news that you don't read in any paper, right? Uh, Chilean and Italian, Americans, Brazilian, okay. we, have, we have it all. And we bring more people from different countries as well. Uh, Alberto, Alberto, give me just uh, this moment. You know, I told you that a lot of my friends in Italy tomorrow are going to watch us. Of course, now it's night. They cannot see now in, on live. And, uh, you know, now it's been two years that I've been in the United States. And the, the, my first time that I'm going to follow World Cup far away from my country. And it's a big deal for me. But, and I was really afraid when I came here, just, you know, I'm going to the United States, no one cares about soccer. Look now where I am. I'm talking about soccer. And guys, so next week is the World Cup. So we were waiting for that four years ago. Italy won, I hope this year we can win again, but it's just amazing that we are talking about soccer and we can follow this match again, because as you say, that is the real soccer, it's not league, no, it's a World Cup, we are exactly. there. And here we go, so let's close it with a roundabout of who's going to win it all. We talked about players, we broke it down by, by teams, now you know, no on the fence. You have to pick the, the first and second. By the way, we were talking about Kaká. Kaká is going to be the 10th number 10 for Brazil. Just a curiosity. 10th number 10 for Brazil. Just, uh... But anyways, going back to the roundabouts here. We're going to pick no fence, 